King Edgy here, bringing you another Gen 1 video. This video is part of the series Climbing the Ladder. As you can see, we are in fifth place right now. We had a couple of games off screen, and uh, we're hoping to move from fifth up to third, maybe even better, depending on how this day goes. So let's see what happens here. We've got Polyrath versus Horsey as a start. Unfortunately, our Polyrath doesn't know Hypnosis, and it doesn't know Amnesia. Um, but that's okay. Uh, Horsey can't do a lot of damage to us. Maybe it smokes screens. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and body slam. Try to paralyze it, see what happens. Goes Hypno. Really a bold play, banking on the fact that we don't have Hypnosis, maybe? I'm not sure. Because I don't think you want Hypno getting put to sleep. Okay, so what do we do from here? Uh, well, I think we just surf. Is that a bad decision? I don't know. Um, Body Slam could get the Paralysis, which could be nice. Let's do a quick calculation here. Polyrath versus Hypno. Oh, this Polyrath doesn't know Surf for some reason. Yeah, so Surf and Body Slam do similar damage, but Body Slam could paralyze, so I guess that's what we go with. We just stay and go Body Slam. Hey, great decision by us. Could not have been any better of a decision. Incredible. Gotta stick with the paralysis now. Uh, I'm sorry, stick with the body slam now um, and hope that Hypno does not know rest and that we can just wipe it out here. Wow, that was so stupidly lucky. Oh my goodness, getting luckier all the time. The way that he switched out Hypno there makes me think that Hypno does have rest. I expect Nidoran to go body slam. So, we'll just hope for the crit. We don't get it, that's okay. Oh, he does go Thunderbolt, okay. I thought, I guessed Body Slam because I thought, um, I thought he'd play it safe, that middle ground. Going for an electric type move is always a little risky. Uh, but I hedged my bet by going for Psychic, I could potentially lower his special. All right, Dragonite comes out. It probably knows Thunderbolt. I actually don't think it knocks us out from this range with Thunderbolt, so staying in and blizzarding can do a lot of damage. And let's see what happens. Oof. That crit mattered for sure. But thankfully, we've got a Wigglytuff here that can handle Dragonite pretty nicely. It can't one-shot the Dragonite with Blizzard, I don't think. But why don't I check... Actually, let me check. Dragonite's Thunderbolt. Yeah, look at that. Uh, not not going to do enough to get us, but that's okay. Uh, Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff's Blizzard, yeah, doesn't do near enough. So we can go Body Slam first, or we can go Double Blizzard. Uh, but I'm just going to go Body Slam first. Yeah. Uh, the decision really was like, okay, well, if I go Blizzard and he switches, Horsey tanks it. But if I go Body Slam, if he doesn't switch, then we've still got Blastoise in the back that can Blizzard and, and knock him out. So I wasn't too worried. And as long as Horsey... Oh, the luck just keeps flowing this game. It's unbelievable. Um... I missed that Hyper Beam, which was unfortunate. I'm going to actually switch back to Body Slam now in case he switches out, expecting the Hyper Beam again. And he doesn't. And that's okay. And now we're right where we should be, right? He got an unlucky Blizzard miss. We got the Hyper Beam miss. It all kind of balances out. Although we're still... I mean, that exchange balanced out, but we're still crazy lucky in this battle. The damage on Hypno, unreal. Um, 
the fact that we paralyzed that horsey. Um, also really great. Now Dragonite comes out. What can it do? Hyper Beam I, is my guess. So I'm going to go with Blastoise. Tank the Hyper Beam. Wow, it was a crit Hyper Beam. Oh, we still ate it. <laughs> and now we can do, what, 90%, something like that. 99%. Okay. And um, Body Slam for the... Oh, he's got Seeking in the back. Uh, all right. So this is no problem. So who do we fear as a last? A ground type? No, because of Oddish. So we're comfortable just body slamming here, letting Blastoise go down to a Hyper Beam if that's Seeking's choice. Nope, but Seeking chooses Double Edge. And we don't want to rest because if we rest, Hypno can come in and get the chance to um, rest itself, and we don't want that. Um, so now we're just going Electrode. And if he doesn't have a ground type in the back, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt knocks out those three that we see. And we're in great shape to take a win here. Yeah, if a ground type last, could be tough, but we've got Oddish. If a grass type is last, that could be tough, but we've got Oddish, right? So we feel like, okay. And then the forfeit comes through. Yeah, so we got really lucky, plus Electrode is the fastest Pokemon, um, so we're all set there. All right, here we go. Nice new battle here. Our team <laughs> is so interesting. Some of the best, some of the worst. Onyx is garbage. Um, Dodrio's great, but leading Dodrio's tough because it has a harder time sweeping. Um... Muck is okay, it can explode. Kingler is okay. Uh, Jigglypuff's decent. Mewtwo's great, obviously. What's our Mewtwo set? It's Amnesia. It's all out attack, no recovery, so not the best. Um, Aerodactyl comes out, and you know what? We can go to Onyx. Let's go. <laughs> Onyx pretending to be useful for once. And we're just going to body slam. All right, Parasect comes out here. Do we care that Parasect is out here? Do we want something to get put to sleep? Um, or is he going to go straight for the Mega Drain, right? I don't know. I've gambled in the past. Uh... gambled in the past on this move and it's paid off but I actually don't think I'm going to gamble here I'm kind of hopeful that uh, Feck has no electric types or if he does Muck and Jigglypuff can kind of eat them so I'm actually just going to first turn explode and of course it doesn't knock out Parasect but that's okay because we can go back to Dodrio and Body Slam. If he goes back to Aerodactyl, that's all right, because we hope to get the Paralysis. We also know he went Double Edge instead of Fire Blast on Dodrio there, which is totally fine, but for us it might mean he doesn't like going Fire Blast, or, or he thinks Double Edge is the better move. But we can comfortably switch into Kinglor here. Kinglor has got some good defense. Okay, the crit is bad, but that's how it goes sometimes. Um, and what should we do now? It's uh, tough. That crit means that I think we have to crab hammer. And he might switch out to something that can tank the crab hammer. So body slam, right? That middle ground play. It's kind of always the play I like to make, but in this case... Uh, another double edge will do 24, and then a hyper beam will take us out the rest of the way. So if we go body slam and guess wrong, we lose Kingler. We don't want to do that. So he gets back-to-back -back crits. 
but at least we take him out. Now we hope that Dodrio and Mewtwo are the fastest two things around. Um, so we let Kingler go here. And we let Jigglypuff come out. And do you think he's going to switch into Hitmonchan? Yeah, maybe. But he doesn't. Okay. So we get to paralyze Mr. Mime. Sing might have been the better play there. Hard to say. But Sing's just so inaccurate. I hate using it. It scares me to use it. And now we're getting some really good paralysis lock here. Um, oh my gosh. Mr. Mom didn't get to attack us at all once it was paralyzed. Jigglypuff, you beast. Um, now we can switch to Muck pretty comfortably. I was going to say, he could go for anything, but Muck handles it. Muck's got a lot of health, and like, what is that damage? It's nothing. So uh, let's see, that's 30% damage. Okay, so you go for it again, I suppose. And now we have to think if Hyper Beam knocks him out. Uh, I'm not sure if it does from this range. Hyper Beam 42, yeah, so it does always. Okay, we can Hyper Beam. Ooh, and the crit to boot, nice. If he doesn't have any psychic types left, Muck could get off an explosion here. It's kind of tough to do 34% to Muck in one attack. But Horsey can probably do it. Horsey can probably do it. Do we want to save Muck? Let's see. Nah, I think we're just going to explode. Unfortunate there. So Mewtwo comes out, and I'm not going to risk getting frozen. I think I'm going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. Um, obviously, I still risk getting frozen, but I wanted to go straight for the Thunderbolt. Oh my goodness, that did no damage. Okay. I wanted to go straight for the Thunderbolt just, um, just because I was worried. I'm actually going to switch to Jigglypuff here. Get the paralysis off on Porygon. Uh, I think will be nice just to get some damage on, or just to inhibit it and um, see if we can get some damage off on it. And I don't know if he'll recover up or not. Decides not to, that's fine. Um, actually, does Dodrio take it out from this range? Hyper Beam 59 to 70. Maybe, but we're not sure. But I think Dodrio is the right play because if Mewtwo gets frozen, we're in a ton of trouble. And he goes for the paralysis, so another body slam should take him out if we hit it. And we do. All right. So that's back-to-back -back wins for us, which is good. Uh, and we'll try one more because those were both pretty quick battles. But remember, we started in fifth, and our hope was to end up third or potentially even higher, depending on how things went. Uh, we got a, a good team here. Um, good team here was tough for him to do anything about, really. In that first battle, we got all the luck and then some. So things have been going our way pretty nicely. As I look back on that Onyx play earlier, um, worked out pretty nicely. No regrets. We were able to handle the Aerodactyl. Um, we made the right play with Crab Hammering there instead of Body Slamming. Body Slam was really tempting, but made the right play there. We got pretty lucky that Mr. Mime... Um, couldn't attack, right? Right, and so that really worked in our favor, but um, it's likely we we were in good shape. Even if Jigglypuff um, got almost taken out all the way by Mr. Mime, 
we could have gone Dodrio, um, take out Hitmonchan, Dodrio do half damage to, right? And we would have saved Mach to explode against Porygon. So I think, I think we had that even if we didn't get that luck against Mr. Mime, but the luck certainly helped, right? The luck certainly helped a lot. Yep. So I guess we'll refresh and see how we've climbed. So we have made it to three, which is pretty great. Um, we've accomplished our goal for this video, and we're going to press our luck. That's how we're feeling right now. But I don't know if anybody's around <laughs> to challenge us. Um, again, it might be... Oh, here we go. We found someone. Exciting times. Our team, I, th I think, is very good. Um, Victory Ball doesn't know sleep, which is too bad. Polyworld doesn't know sleep. Gengar does no sleep. We've got two Pokemon here with 245 speed. And we've got Onix, our favorite Pokemon in the world, uh, going for body slams like there's no tomorrow and going to crush and paralyze any fools that cross his path. So let's see what happens here. Ditto comes out. Okay. Ditto comes out. Okay. Do I care that Ditto is out? I mean, I guess he wants to transform into Onyx. And now what does he want to do? He wants to use Earthquake, right? Uh, let me just check real quick and make sure that Onyx is not faster than Poliwhirl. <laughs> At level 88, his speed is 210. Okay, great. So he's not faster than Poliwhirl. So we'll just switch to Poliwhirl and, and Surf. Right? Yeah, I don't see why not. I don't want to go Blizzard because... Um, you know, I, ex I expect Ditto to probably switch out, but um, Blizzard scares me. In the rare event that it misses, our Poliwhirl dies to explosion, and I'm not ready to let Poliwhirl go just yet. Not just yet. So we see what Tim decides. He goes Gyarados. Okay. Okay. Pretty solid play. And we think Gyarados knows Thunderbolt, or do we think Gyarados knows Body Slam? Stay in with Poliwhirl and let it go. This is trouble because um, Poliwhirl doesn't know Hypnosis. It does know Amnesia, but we can't really get it off very well. Gyarados matches up pretty well. Um... And we could, like, try to predict real hard here and say, Gyarados is going Thunderbolt, let's go Victory Bell, or Gyarados is Body Slam, let's go Gengar, but I don't think I'm going to predict. I think I'm just going to stay in and Psychic and hope to lower his special, which we don't, and that's too bad. Uh, but now that I know he went Body Slam, I think he's going to go Hyper Beam. I'm going to switch out. Oh! Oh! That was a nice play by Tim. That surprised me. I guess he thought we were going to switch out last turn. Okay, big surprise. Big unfortunate surprise. We have to stay in Thunderbolt here. Um, now what do we do? Maybe we could Thunderbolt again, but it won't knock him out anymore. So I think we go Onyx. We let his Onyx Earthquake us. We Earthquake him back and knock him out. 50% health, we're still comfortable against that Zapdos. At least comfortable enough to feel like we will be able to paralyze it. Right. But Tim got us good. That 10% paralysis on the Gengar was tough. Alright, so Nidoking comes out here. We don't like it. We're going to go Victory Bell. 
hope that Victory Bell doesn't take over half from this earthquake. And it doesn't. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, and now I think we're going to make that middle play and just body slam. Oh, wow. What a risky play there, because if we razor leafed, that was it. I think we survive a blizzard. We do. We get the knockout. Okay, I'm taking it. Poliwhirl is still faster than his whole team, which is good. You know, King comes back out, and we let we let that go. So Poliwhirl can come out now, and what's nice about this is Poliwhirl is super effective against Neo King with every single attack. Crazy, right? Neo King definitely knocks us out, though. So I think I'm going to play it safe and go Psychic. Just in the event that he switches to Gyarados, we have um, a little bit more damage than we would from Surf. A little bit less than Blizzard, but again, if I do some damage, then Abra can clean up the rest. Unless he goes Chansey. But now we can go Gengar and hope he doesn't double switch. It doesn't look like he did. Great. I'm going to try for one Hypnosis. See what happens. We don't get it. That's really unfortunate. Because uh, now what do we do? Do we just lose Gengar? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Um, Chansey is a really, really, really good last. Meowth's our only answer to Chansey. Meowth can't two-shot King from full health. We don't want Meowth to get paralyzed. Well, do we care that much? So if Meowth... Gengar at half health can do a lot. I guess we should have just exploded there, because if he decided to switch out... I mean, we got fully paralyzed, so it might not have mattered, but... I think it's time to let Poliwhirl go. Unfortunately. And... what's the answer now? Because Abra... can't knock out Nidoking in one hit. Neo King can't knock Abra out in one hit either. So maybe the answer is Abra? Is the answer a double switch, like Abra and then to Meowth to get some slashes off? Or could it be just Meowth straight away? Meowth does good damage there, but not good damage to Nido King. That's why I kind of feel like Abra is the, the answer here. And I think I'm going to play no double switch. Yeah, I, and that's fine. Like I kind of thought he would switch, but I have Gengar to switch to, which is nice. Um, and now... Uh, this is the same situation. Do I get super greedy and go for the hypnosis again? Do I straight up explode? I think I'm going to get greedy. All right. That's great. Now I can switch out. Get this critical hit psychic on Chansey. Nope, get the special drop on Chansey. Yep. Do I take him out now? The minus one Chansey? Ugh, not sure. So I'm gonna switch back out to Gengar. He goes Zapdos? Okay. I guess I should have stayed in and psychic, huh? Um, I think I'm just gonna stay in and explode. Oh, or stay in and die, you know? One of those things was bound to happen. Okay, great. So... Hmm. Surprisingly bad spot. I should have double switched. Should have double switched. Okay. Let me check out how much we do to Gyarados. 35. And Meowth. 
does oh 38 but could thunder thunder could knock him out okay i guess we hope to paralyze gyarados when he switches out here no do we double switch we double okay that's pretty good because now i don't know what he's gonna do okay now that's bad um yeah, when I said it's good because I don't know what he was going to do, I meant it's good because I don't know what he can do. Um, Gyarados, one slash and one psychic really does a number on him. Yo, that was great. Okay, I'm feeling better now, moderately better. Zapdos comes back out. He might double switch here. If he does, he gets us good, but but he doesn't. And now um now what's he gonna do? I don't know. I'm gonna use earthquake. Okay, failed. That's okay. I guess I'm gonna use body slam. Oh nice, he got me again. He got me again. Hmm. Yeah, okay, well, the situation we're in is not great. It's actually quite bad now. We should have gone Earthquake again, huh? Uh, I actually think Abra is my least valuable here. I actually think Abra is my least valuable, but he can't switch out. And I think, oh, he does switch out. Wow. I just finished saying he can't switch out. Okay, but now we're in good shape, right? If Onyx body slams, it might, it might not knock out Nidoking. Okay. Cool, that's good. That's good stuff. And now Meowth should should clean it up with two slashes. Great. Whew. That really stretched me. I don't know why I didn't want to double switch too much, but I didn't. And uh, uh, crazy that Onyx was more valuable than Abra there. But uh, whew, we pulled it out. I think we could have played that one a little bit better um, and won more comfortably, but uh, still squeaked by. And so there we go. That's what I've been waiting for for a little while in these videos. A nice 3-0. and um, And uh, yeah, I think we're going to sit ourselves. Actually, I think we'll rise to second place. We were only two points out of it coming into that battle. So I think we have gotten there, even though the ladder hasn't quite updated yet. So again, quick recap. Battle 1, so much luck. Battle 2, uh, really good team. And Battle 3, pretty decent team. Um, Tim made some plays that really got me good. The switching to Thunderbolt with Gyarados got my Gengar real good. And the... Um, what was the other one that got me pretty good? Oh, the switching out to Nidoking um, by staying in for one turn with Zapdos. That got me really good, too. But we just had the better team here, and we were able to pivot around it. So let's see if we've loaded up here. Still not yet, but I do think we are second place. And so I'm hopeful that our next video can be chasing down the top spot. And I'll look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching. See you later.